This game is shaping up to be the ultimate Smash Bros package. Get it? Welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 biggest changes in Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at some of the most exciting new features that'll spice up our fights in Super Smash Bros Ultimate. From the looks of it, director Masahiro Sakurai has been hard at work. Please take a look. Number 10, Stage Select comes first. Typical Mango, oh, nice back air, and Ganondorf, MK, Leo trying to use the down air, Lucky trying to elude and just get on some type of even footing. Previously, Smash Bros would have had players choose their fighters first and select stages second. Ultimate will be reversing the order, and while this doesn't seem like a crucial change, it actually is. Any professional tournament player will tell you that certain characters are more formidable on specific stages. By reversing changing the setup, players can select their fighters with a more tactical mind. Things may get a little more tricky if you and your friends decide to use the new stage more feature. This way you can pick a fighter based on how well suited they are for the stage. Number 9, Dash Cancelling. For who's in the lead, you will flash uh, momentarily. So it's kind of like the get that guy, <laughs> you know, the get that guy uh, notice right there if you want. In a game like Smash Bros, your movement is everything. Whether you're racing after an item or running from an opponent, you'll need some good defense tactics. Ultimate plans to adopt a technique from the Smash Bros esports scene known as dash cancelling. This maneuver will allow players to execute a smash attack while dashing, which causes your movement to cancel. It may not be exactly like the other Smash Bros games, but this could make some professional Smash players feel right at home. Plus, newcomers might be interested in learning how to use this to their advantage. As Devin was doing a really good job at avoiding his opponents and continuously racking damage, TK. Number 8. Who's in the lead? Off stage and unfortunately unable to make it back. You saw Armada uh, rolling a lot and we've established already defensive play. Given how chaotic a game of Smash Bros can get, it can be easy to lose track of who's winning. This hasn't been much of a notable problem to some players, but Sakurai is fixing it anyway. As the match progresses, you may see a yellow flash on you or one of your buddies. This indicates which player is in the lead, which may cause unofficial truces to form. So if the golden glimmer flashes on you, don't be surprised if everyone suddenly has a vendetta against you. Uh, I'm, I'm having a hard enough time over here just staying off the stage, oh, dude. That's bad. That's I'm not bad. having a good day. Uh, oh no! Oh. Number 7, Perfect Shield. A perfect shield occurs when you release the shield button. Until now, you were able to pull it off without any major risks, but going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. Shields are more crucial than ever in Smash Bros. On top of dash cancelling and a few other techniques we'll get to shortly, Ultimate will incorporate a new mechanic in blocking. Rather than holding down the block button and hope your shield doesn't break, you might be eager to use the perfect shield maneuver. By timing your block just right, you'll interrupt your opponent's attack, causing them to freeze for a split second. This will allow you to land a devastating smash attack or start a string of combos of your own. Better know how to use this if you want to compete in the tournament. MK Leo with a 3 2 stock advantage, Zero still staying alive at 163. Both these fighters. Number 6 In Character Features. But now you can choose a specific one with a button press and a quick directional tilt. Sure is handy to change arts on the fly. Much like every other new iteration of a fighting game, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate may require you to relearn characters and develop new strategies. Multiple characters will be incorporating special features that could benefit to your playstyle. Shulk has an easier method of switching between Monado arts. Inklings display a meter next to their portrait that helps players manage their tank. Robin has gauges that measure how many times players can use spells. These are just a few examples of in-character features, and we're sure there will be plenty more. Now you can see his limit gauge near his damage percentage at all times. Special displays are available for certain other fighters too. 
Number five, air dashes and short hops. It can come in handy when recovering from a fall. Jumping may prove to be more significant in Smash Bros Ultimate thanks to the inclusion of more melee techniques. On top of dash cancelling and perfect shields, Ultimate will include short hopping and air dashes. Short hopping lets players quickly pull off air attacks, which can grant an edge for certain fighters. Air dashes add to your recovery when being launched, letting you close the gap between you and a ledge or preventing your character from getting caught in a combo. These might take some time to master, but it's cool to see Ultimate incorporating more techniques we've seen in professional Smash Bros tournaments. I'm gonna go ahead and rock him, but so is another KO right here onto Alana and Zelda. Number four, Battlefield and Omega Stages. You can see the recovery, and now it's one stock each. If Zero can get the KO here. Smash Bros for Wii U marked the first time in the series where players could access Final Destination versions of their favorite stages dubbed Omega Stages. In Smash Bros Ultimate, this nifty feature will be receiving an additional option. Not only will you be able to play the Omega versions of any stage, but every stage will have its own Battlefield version as well. According to the Smash Bros Ultimate Direct in August 2018, this means the game is packed with a little over 300 stages. Looks like everyone will have their stage preferences catered to their needs. But take a look at the stage select screen. Every stage can also be transformed into both Battlefield and Omega forms, so the total number of stages is actually more than 300. Number 3. Quicker 1v1 Matches For one-on-one -on -one battles, the damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. Duels are great and all, but sometimes they can drag on for what feels like hours. This may not apply to tournaments, but even so, some of us feel like the pace needs to be quicker. Thankfully, Sakurai is addressing this by making a slight adjustment. This time around, 1v1 matches will have damage ratios and launch power increased. Not only does this avoid extensive games, but it also raises the stakes and heats things up. Another cool addition is that when a player falls, the game will quickly display the scoreboard. This will certainly make tournaments interesting to watch. Off the edge of the edge. Oh, oh, that was so oh, Meta, unable to recover. Can Plop get back on stage? Yes. Number two, boss characters. From the Monster Hunter series, Rathalos swoops in. While we're still not sure how this feature works, it's safe to assume that there'll be a massive new addition. We do know that boss characters can either appear as single-player battles of some form, or they can appear as an assist trophy. Bosses as a whole aren't new to Smash, as Brawl's single-player featured battles against the likes of P.T. Piranha, Rayquaza, and Ridley just to name a few, with the latter now being a playable character in Ultimate. So far we know that Dracula from Castlevania and Rathalos from Monster Hunter will appear as bosses. Let us know who you think will also make the cut. But he can also show up as an assist trophy. Actually, he's the first character to appear as both. Before we unveil our top pick, here's a few honorable mentions. And your duration of intangibility gets shorter. Link dons his champion's tunic from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Stay away from my ass climbers. Shoot ya! Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Number one, everyone is here. Since its official reveal at E3 2018, Smash Bros Ultimate has clearly thrown out the rulebook, especially after displaying the message, everyone is here. That's no joke, literally everyone is here. Anyone who's been a playable fighter in a Smash Bros game is here, and the party doesn't stop there. Many other characters, both from Nintendo and third-party studios, will be making appearances throughout the game, whether they're playable characters or assist trophies. Combine all that with new additions such as Ridley, The Inklings, Simon and Richter Belmont from the Castlevania series, and King K. Rool, and Smash Bros Ultimate will, indeed, be the most ambitious crossover event in history. That's right. Every fighter in Super Smash Bros. history is joining the battle. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.